Hey, what's up? This is Scott, Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how we can create another layout simply by duplicating the layout that we already had uh, made in the last video and then modifying it. And we're going to do this to create a layout for the home page. That way we have an interior layout and a home page layout. And in the next video after that, we're going to actually use context to make sure that we're seeing the home page layout on the home page and the sidebar. Uh, interior page layout on interior pages. So this one might be really easy. What we have to do is we have to take the layouts folder, uh, the sidebar folder that we created in the last video, and we're just going to duplicate this inside of here. I can do this just in Finder, any way you know how, and we're going to call this home. And so this new uh, layout is named home. Likewise, we're going to want to change the file names in here to be home layout and then home layout uh, ink. Just like that and that. It's nice and easy. And again, we want to have the uh, SAS files that we created. We want to do the same thing. So let's duplicate this sidebar once more. And you might want to stop drush guard while you're doing this. You can see mine's going crazy because it has all these new files to compile. Um, I might have to end up deleting some of those CSS files. Uh, either way, we can change this just like we did before. And we're just removing the word uh, sidebar from all of these. So we're basically just creating this new layout, right? It's home. And there's going to be some differences in this layout. So now we need to get in and edit our files, actually. OK, let's close out some of these. First off, let's go into the uh, important files. We have the ink file. We want to make sure this name is home. And it's going to be using the home layout, uh, the home page layout. You could do more to describe what this layout actually looks like. In fact, I would highly recommend that. Now, we just have to, I can do a find and replace for sidebar. Oh. Well, maybe I don't want to do that here. We'll just change it like that. There we go. Now it's using the right styles. And you know what? In this home, uh, we don't actually have a sidebar at all. In fact, it's just going to be one large main column. Um, and then we might have blocks that are on columns and stuff like that. But um, our main content is really just going to be without a sidebar. So we can go ahead and get rid of this sidebar first region entirely from this home layout ink. Now let's come to our home layout TPL. And again, we can remove this sidebar first because we're not going to be using it. So it's just getting rid of stuff we don't need, right? Uh, it's trimming this down. So it's just the stuff that we want. OK, so now we have our home page layout, and now we just need to modify the CSS. So let's come into our our SAS home, and then we can come to, uh, well, let's get rid of this sidebar first here because we don't need it. This is in the level home layout.scss. Keep in mind, this is the same CSS because we just duplicated those files directly. Now, some things we do want. We want this page. We want the widths to be brought over. And uh, we want, let's actually get rid of this breakpoint touch blue. I don't know why that stayed in there anyways. And uh, let's get rid of this sidebar stuff. So we don't need the sidebar stuff. And actually, we want the content to span the entire grid. So we can just say uh, this is the entire grid, just like that, just like that. OK, cool. So now we should have a sidebar layout, which includes the CSS that you saw in the previous video. And we should have our main layout, which is going to have one big L uh, content region that spans all 12 grids. And it's going to have our tab width and our desktop width. So it's all going to be one big width. Cool. So let's come to our site now. And let's enable our new theme. First, we have to clear the cache as always. Remember, since you most likely have Drush installed now, you could go to Drush and type Drush CC all to clear all of your caches. Or we could just click Clear All Cache here. I find Drush to be usually much faster, uh, but I don't have it currently open. So um, 
Let's come into our appearance and refresh this. We're now seeing our home layout here. And you'll notice if we select and enable this, let's come to our page. We refresh, it's all in one big column. And you'll notice that this didn't get our styles, right? This isn't getting anything. Sure, it's one big column, but it's not getting our widths. So why is that? Well, there's actually one thing that we forgot to change. In our no query at SCSS, it's looking for sidebar.layout, which doesn't exist in this folder. So uh, of course, we could have gone to our terminal and saw that it was giving us an error saying uh, that there was problems, cannot find sidebar.layout. Um, so if you're running to issues, always check your uh, terminal uh, and see if there's any output, you know. So we need to have this say home, let's save it, and let's check our, our uh, terminal here. And it looks like everything's all good. So let's come back to our site here. Now we wanna refresh this once more. Let's clear the cache, refresh. So here's our page, it's getting the styles exactly like we would expect. Um, and this is our responsive uh, single column with page. Okay, well, uh, keep in mind, we only want this single column layout to be for the home page. So in the next video, we're gonna show you how we can have it be that the single column layout will be only in the home page and the interior page will be only in interior pages. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video and hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Love to hear from you. Thanks, bye.